okay guys you're welcome here and uh, uh in this video i promise to explain to people how they can create their own cryptocurrency using the waves exchange okay so we are going to go through the process right now and uh you do not need to be a programmer to be able to do this stuff and all you have to do is just have at least one waves on your waves balance and you are able to create your own cryptocurrency so guys let's get started with doing this now the first thing is the first thing you have to do is you have to go to waves.exchange so waves.exchange is uh, a web wallet and a cryptocurrency exchange and it allows you to access the the waves blockchain so you can do a lot of things with it you can send transactions uh you can send tokens you can receive and you can trade as well so this is the first page you are going to see this is the first page you are going to see on the waves exchange also it allows you to trade not just trade you can as well stake okay okay we have markets down here and it's also important to note that the waves exchange is decentralized it means that there is no one that is going to be controlling your account at the creation of your account you are giving a seed freeze so first of all you click on sign up and uh i'm going to type in a password for your account It's not using your email address. So it's a password that is being saved on your computer. Okay. You just have to save it. Now you get to this creating page. All you have to do is click on create a new account. An account is generated automatically for you from the blockchain. Uh, you click on continue. Okay, let's say this is Trupuka. Okay, let's continue. You can close down with this. So guys, immediately you are done with this. The first thing you should do is to save your wave seed. Okay. Now your wave seed is a 15 digit phrase and actually is what you use in accessing your account. Okay so all you need to do each time you want to access your account now i can use this seed phrase to access this waves account on my android device or on another laptop that belongs to me but the thing you have to know is ensure you do not share this seed phrase with anyone because anyone that has access to this seed phrase is going to have access to your account it's a decentralized platform so you do not need email to access your account so instead of email and password, all you need is this seed phrase. So what I do is uh, I save it as a file on my system. Yes, I save it as a file on my system. And uh, I just close this down. Don't forget, ensure you do not share it with anyone. Very, very important. Now that we are here, at, uh, the account is created. And as you can see here, you have a lot of assets you can send and receive on the Waves Exchange. We have waves the btc ethereum uh usdt usdn which is a stable coin on waves you have euro you have uh uh the rubn and you have cyan too japanese stable coin you have this you also have the nigerian stable coin here on waves and you have the nsbt which is the governance token on on the neutrino protocol okay so we we'll look at this. Uh, I'm going to make a comprehensive video to explain the research change for you. So to, let's just go ahead with creating our token. First thing is remember we need at least one waves to be able to create an asset on the waves exchange on the waves blockchain. And uh, you do not need to have a programming skills like I said earlier. So what I will do now is I will send one waves to this account. Okay. To do that, I just have to click on receive. 
under waves, just click on receive. I can as well assess that for um, portfolio. And uh, I just have to touch receive and I'm able to copy my address. So I will send waves from anywhere. An account to this place so that we can all right is landed already so to create your own cryptocurrency all you have to do is on this tab you can see create assets click on create asset click on create asset the first thing is we have to choose the name of this asset Let's call this asset Chukuka. Note, I'm spending real money here. This is on mainnet. So uh, I see this token is a tutorial. Okay, let's say Chukuka sounds too good, you know. Chuki coin, you know. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. This token is uh, a tutorial. Demo cryptocurrency. Okay, now um, I have to choose right here. I have to choose the total amount, which is known as the total supply. Okay, the total supply. I want to create one million of Chuki coin. Okay. Now, in creating this, I still have an option to choose. If I have intentions to increase the total supply in future, or is permanently going to be 1 million total supply. So if I choose not reissuable, it means the total supply of the Chuki coin is always going to be 1 million. But if I choose reissuable, it means in future, I, I can uh, increase the total supply. So let's leave it to reissuable, okay? Um, okay, here we have to choose the decimal, okay? How many, in how many places can uh, the Chuki coin be divided? Let's say, just as we have Nera and Kobo, we can have 100 Nera with 50 Kobo. So uh, the 50 Kobo will be a smaller division of Nera. So in this case, we want to say how many places in how many places can Chuki coin be divided? Let's say two or three. I want it to be divided into eight places. So it's possible now to have that if we have um, not divisible, it means you will not be able to see uh, something like 1.1 Chuki coin. Okay. So if we have an issue of uh, one decimal place. All right, so I will use eight decimal places. Now, before you create or issue this asset, uh, this is another feature called the smart asset. For most of us that are familiar with uh, ICO, there are times that you want to invest into an asset and the uh, owners of the project would uh, be able to dictate at what time they want this asset to be traded or who they want to trade this asset, okay? So the smart feature of assets on Waste Blockchain is a feature that enables you to add some kind of condition for your asset, all right? Now, I can uh, I can say, I don't want this Chuki coin to be traded with uh, BTC. I want it to be traded only against ETH on the Waste Exchange, all right? So with coding, I am able to write some instructions down here. I'm able to write some codes here, and uh, I would be able to decide uh, what this coin can do and what it cannot do. Who can use this coin and who cannot use it, okay? It kind of brings in a limitation and a rule. I can be able to decide when I want this asset to be traded. I can be able to decide I want this tricky coin to trade only against waves or I want it to be trading only against uh, Bitcoin. I can as well say I want Chuki coin 
to be trading nothing less than one dollar i can be able to say i don't want a certain waves address to trade it okay so i'm going to make a separate video on the smart asset feature of uh, creating your own coin but for now we can just create a normal coin but it's important to note that when you are creating a coin on waves exchange at the point of creation if you do not enable it to be a smart asset after it has been issued you can't do that anymore okay now so this is the preview the name is chucky coin one million total supply and divisible in eight places no i think i should make it two places i prefer it all right so to avoid your coin from being marked as spam because a lot of people fraudsters and scammers do take advantage of everything ensure that it doesn't go against any of these rules okay and you just have to say i understand and click on generate just confirm if these are correct okay and we say send interesting the transaction is on the way all right so we now have to go back and go to portfolio yes you can see initially when we came here first it was just waves we now have another cryptocurrency called chucky coin okay and the total supply is 1 million you can see that here now to check uh what happened right here you just have to copy your address and go to waves explorer waves explorer is the tool that lets you to explore waves blockchain so when someone makes a payment to your account, you are able to check, uh, to view who sent it, how much was sent, when it was sent using the Waves Explorer. So this is the Waves Explorer. It's very, very, uh, it's nice and very, very user friendly. So I just have to type in this address here and hit the, my enter button. So it's going to explore this account I just entered now. Currently, there is 0 0.1 waves here, and uh, it's showing the everything that has happened on this account from the genesis, okay? Now, the first thing is we had an asset transfer. This was the asset transfer that um, I used in sending the 1.1 waves we use for the asset creation. You can see there are different types of transaction on waves. This is a type 4 transaction. The status is succeeded. The timestamp, this is it. The block. Okay. This is the proof. This is the recipient. That's the account that received the payment. This is the amount that was sent. 1.1 waves. And it cost 0 0.001 waves to make this transaction. We'll talk about that other times. Transactions are very cheap on waves. And this is the sender. Okay. For developers, you see. You can query it. You can query it. And the other transaction we have here is asset issue. The first one here is asset transfer. So we can still click on this. So let us explore and have more details about this transaction. Now, this transaction is type 3. Transaction type 3 is an asset issue transaction. The status is succeeded. And this is the block where this transaction can be found. And this is the asset ID. The asset ID of Chucky Coin. The quantity is one million Chucky Coin with two decimal places, and this is uh, the description for the token for the cryptocurrency. And can it be issued? True. The fee for issuing the asset is one waves. Okay. So guys, like I said, it's easy. You just created your own cryptocurrency. And another interesting thing about this is when you create an asset on the waves exchange. You can trade that same asset instantly on the Waves Exchange. Okay, so you can click on trading. Um, this is pairs and markets. So I have to call, let's say, Chucky Coin here. You can see Chucky Coin is listed instantly on Waves Exchange. So is, I can buy uh, Chucky Coin with Waves. Okay, I can buy with BTC, with Ethereum, with uh, West, an asset on Waves, uh, with Litecoin. I can buy it. I can trade it with uh, 
with dash i can trade it with bch i can trade it with uh monero i can trade it with a lot of all the assets on waves exchange with usdt uh with tn also i can trade it against uh the nigerian there for instance uh the project is targeted towards nigerians i can trade it okay so uh you have successfully created that okay we have just successfully created a cryptocurrency with just one wave without writing a single code okay if you have any question you can drop it at the comment section of this video and uh in the future i'll be making more of these videos to explore what you can do on the wave exchange thank you and happy creation and also if you would like to receive the chucky coin i just created you can drop your address on the waves uh the waves africa community group and i will share it for you to uh trade and try to test okay thank you guys and see you soon